Wow, guys, watch this debate between Kamala Harris and Tulsi Gabbard. Congresswoman Gabbard, you took issue with Senator Harris confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate. You called it a, quote, false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. <clears throat> And guys, what she's talking about here is Kamala Harris went on the Breakfast Club and then they asked her, do you smoke marijuana? She jokingly, <laughs> a little bit, I, I indulge. Come on, man. You can't sit there and arrest all those people, take them away from their families, which, okay, it may be a crime, but you can't sit there and do it when you indulge in it also. Like, that's just not fair. And the type of person that Kamala Harris is, man, it, it kind of gets in my skin because she's like one of those people that, this, this is going to sound cliche, but she's like one of those people that's only black when it's time to be black. Or she's only black whenever she's around other black people. But when she's around just whoever, she wants to just turn her switch off. Oh, I'm Indian American. Come on, man. That's not fair. You're not going to sit here, take all these people away from their family, and then turn around and say you smoke. Like, come on, man. When, when was that ever cool? You know what I mean? Like, that's not fair. Well, let's keep going. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to rant. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congress. And then as you watch this, you're you're you're. You're going to notice she doesn't make a comment on any of it. She doesn't make a comment on obstructing justice at all. And this is the person that's running for president and having all these rappers twerk on stage, come up and say, you're a great person. She she brought one person up there that's just like her, contradict herself. He he went up there and talked about stop, stop gun violence when that's all he promotes in his rap lyrics. That's, that's how he came up as a rapper. The The jokes that they're playing on people to get these votes are just insane. I won't, I won't, I want Trump to go and and do do uh, rallies in like poor areas, so they could see that he's he's for them. He's he's not just all for 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 the bigger man. He's for the people that want more out of life. And and this woman right here, believe me when I say, man, she she doesn't want more for you. She she's a greedy hog, just a puppet. That's that's all she is. Let's keep going. This woman, uh, Senator Harris, your response. As the elected attorney general of California, I did the work of significantly reforming the criminal justice system of a state of 40 million people, which became a national model for the work that needs to be done. And I am proud of that work. And I am proud of making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative. Listen to this became a national model for the work that needs to be done. And I am proud of that work. And I am proud of one person is clapping. One person is clapping. We're, we're, we're over here. No, we're over here. One person is clapping when, when she says all this. If talking in circles was an art, she would be a very good artist. She would probably sell out. She honestly probably would just sell out because she's so good at just talking in circles and saying a whole bunch of nothing and running away from questions. It's crazy. She's, <laughs> man, this is, this, is a, this is a true manipulator. Making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative body and give speeches on the floor, but actually doing the work of being in the position to use the power that I had to reform a system that is badly in need of reform. That is why we created initiatives that were about reentering former offenders and getting them counseling. Thank it is you. why, and because I know that criminal justice Thank system you, is Senator. so broken, that I am an advocate for what Thank we you, need Senator. to do to not your, only decriminalize, but legalize marijuana in the United States. I want to I wanna bring... She didn't she didn't deny it at all, guys. There you have it. She didn't deny it at all. She flaunted doing it. She she just told you how proud she was of doing it. I want to legalize America in the United States because I, I do it sometimes. Why did you why did you put all those people and block evidence with people on death row? Why why did you do that? I'm telling you, it's a con it's constant contradiction with her. She she says one thing, but she means a whole nother thing.
and it's this person is getting votes why is it even a, a voter map prediction why would you vote for her man uh, Congresswoman uh, Gabbard back in your response the bottom line is Senator Harris when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives you did not and worse yet in the case of those who were on death row innocent people you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so there is no excuse for that and the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor oh you owe them an apology senator harris <laughs> all, all she ever could do was just sit there and make those stupid faces like that's all she could do you you, you, you dude you can't run away from facts you, you may be able to prolong the 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 ale that, that that you're going to take, but you can't run from it. You only can prolong it. That's all you can do, but you can't you can't run from it. And the, this this horrible type of person, man. I'm telling you guys, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I'm telling you guys, please don't let her win. Just go out and vote. Just go out and vote. Everyone's saying, oh my my vote doesn't matter. If everybody thought like that, you're right. It wouldn't matter because the other person would win. So just go out and vote. Like, God, God's truly, just go out and vote because we, we can't let this happen again. If she's doing that, man, imagine what she's going to do in office when she's in control and then those bigger, th those bigger people with the bigger pockets are in her head telling her what to do. Please just go out and vote. Well, let's keep going. My entire career, I have been opposed, personally opposed to the death penalty, and that has never changed. And I dare anybody who is in a position to make that decision, to face the people I have faced, to say, I will not seek the death penalty. That is my background. That is my work. I am proud of it. I think you can judge people by when they are under fire, and it's not about some fancy opinion on a stage, but when they're in the position to actually make a decision, what do they do? When I was in the position, of having to decide whether or not to seek a death penalty on cases I prosecuted, I made a very difficult decision that was not popular to not seek the death penalty. History shows that, and I am proud of those decisions. Wow, guys, not only is Tulsi Gabbard a patriot, but she's like, I would just describe her as being genuine. She, she's just real genuine. She's going to tell you how it is. And you may have to deal with how she tells you it, but she's going to tell you how it is. She's blunt. She's honest. She's just a patriot. And I really wish she was Trump's v uh, Trump's VP. I still wish that J.D. Vance, he, he's a real cool guy. But I still wish she was Trump's VP. And this this Kamala Harris person, she is not a hero to black people. So please stop going out there and believing that she's for you. She isn't. The type of guy that you think Trump is, that horrible person, believe me when I say, it's not him. <laughs> he, he's not that guy, pal. It's Kamala. She She's, she's that demon to me. She, she's that demon. Man, let me know what you guys think about this quick video. Be sure to, to, to share it to the friends, man. Tr try to wake them up on, on just something from the, uh, just a blast from the past. Try to wake them up. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.